Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing Uncharted 3 Remastered on Brutal Difficulty. This is Chapter 10 of 22. It is entitled Historical Research. So I have, I have to break it to you guys. We are undergoing um, in this chapter one type of uh, sort of quality assurance research entitled Historical Research that involves um, the, how do you say it, um, kind of examining uh, the past events that have occurred to draw conclusions about what um, may or may not happen in the future. That's what we're going to be doing as we follow Elena through the uh, the marketplace over here and SWAT flies out of our face. Now there are several steps in historical research and I just wanted to um, apprise you guys of what those steps are really quickly before we um, you know finish the chapter the steps aren't too involved but there are just a few and uh, they're rather ra they're rather important so the um, the first step I would say is um, thinking about it from a um, an objective standpoint sort of a uh, you know just thinking about it logically how would you do it i think at the very beginning at the outset one would at least want to um, formulate some sort of an idea right so once you formulate an idea you then want to try at least to formulate a plan um and in so doing you are um i mean you're 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 um your plan would be best um, accomplished by the gathering of data. So that's what we're going to at least endeavor to do as we um, ask this uh, shopkeeper over here to open the gate for us so we can um, to go in here. Um, and um, but once we've then gathered data, we will um, endeavor to analyze that data and analyze the sources of that data to in a very roundabout way do the type of historical research that um the pirate needs to do to um to kick ass because the pirate uh, doesn't take numbers when he kicks ass he just kicks ass and he doesn't take numbers so that's what we're going to try to do. Um, we don't have much of a time span to do it in. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just playing with you. The pirates here to kick ass, bottom line. End of story. End of story. Pirates of the Caribbean, motherfucker. Like I said, just wait until we get out, out, out to sea. Just wait. This guy's ready. This, this guy was born on a ship. This guy was, you know, this guy was... Uh, uh, you know, raised at sea, he knows how to do sea shit. And um, anyway, so now we're going to be following um, the villain of the game, the um, the guy down here in, in the business suit. What the hell is his name? I forgot. It doesn't much matter, does it? No, but I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to get you through this chapter. We've got um, some following to do. Um, I, I did know this guy's name. I, I just kind of forgot about it. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually remember it. It isn't important to, to the historical research. Ooh, fuck. Pirate got knocked down. And now we're going to be doing some fights. These fights are awesome. You can't deny how awesome these fights are. Now, the first set of fights are going to be with some lowly, um, lackeys. Everybody's dressed so nicely, but uh, I'm gonna try to get in a, in a first punch. See how we can get going with these sons of whores down here. Um, ah, man! You know what I was doing there? I was trying to uh, trying to trying to hit him, but he hit me for oh, there we go. There's a trophy over here for hitting X number of enemies with the sturgeon fishes over here. I do it at one point on accident. I've already got the trophy, but. Um, there aren't too many enemies to uh, to kill. <laughs> look at that. Look, Just look who dropped down. A brute. And we parried his first attack. Now we're going to go in for a couple of uh, wham-bam, thank you man punches. We parried his, uh, his retaliatory blow. 
Um, tap circle to avoid the headbutt. Kick him in the nuts. Knock him down. Bam. Bam, motherfucker. Parry. Ooh, the game wouldn't let me parry. Now you might say, no, no, Beck. You, you, you didn't parry because you, you messed up. Well, it so happens in this game that you just can't parry certain attacks. There's that Sturgeon trophy. I get kind of annoyed when enemies grab me. Oh, there we go. Countered his, his kick. Now we're going to kick his ass. Okay, everybody dead? Nope. Can't sit under the camera. It would be, would be nice if I could sit under the camera. Um, anyway, just finish off these uh, finish off these lackeys over here. There we go. Got a small crowd to cheer us on. It isn't too big of a crowd. Now we can uh, we can head on out of here. And um, now, if if you consider that to be historical research, um, that's you know that's a good guess on your part. I I honestly don't think we did much historical research on this chapter. I mean, what do you think? Did we do all of the things that I mentioned at the beginning of the chapter? Did we collect and analyze data? and uh, formula <laughs> formulate a plan <laughs> historical research guys it's uh it's a little bit more complicated than what you might have been led to believe but i do apologize I, I at least wanted to tell you what it was all about um but anyway i'm sorry that i um you know sometimes verbosity gets the best of me and i do apologize for that i'm just out here to have a good time and to help folks that's all I mean, that's the bottom line. If we have to do historical research, we have to do historical research. You know, it doesn't much matter. Whatever needs to be done, we will do it. Uh, and we will uh, clear Brutal, get our trophy, and uh, sit back and do some post-reflection. I think that would be a pretty good idea, just at the very end, to do some reflection on the Brutal uh, trilogy that we that we just uh, finished. Because it's, it's like no other thing in gaming. It's absolutely... Uh, uh, one of a kind, one of absolutely one of a kind, guys. So um, I do apologize for the verbosity. I will see you in chapter eleven for chapter ten. This is Bic Benedict of Bic Benedict Productions. Take care.